Hey guys, welcome to your 21st tutorial, and today we're going to be going over the basics of object orientation on the screen. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you just a quick example of maybe a common problem out there that happens when you guys design something, and then let's say you go to test it on a landscape view. So as you can see, we've got our button in our portrait view there, and uh, in the bottom left hand screen, bottom left hand of your screen and when you flip to the landscape it disappears it's not there at all you can't click nothing and so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna bounce out of the simulator and we're gonna go into our project now all I've got is basically a button on the screen this one's attached to the audio from the previous tutorial as you can see the button is on the bottom left hand of the uh, portrait view here now a quick simple way to do this and that's what we're gonna go over today is just the basics is to click on this button and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch open our utilities off to the right and we're in the uh, right now the inspector and we're gonna go to the size inspector and so you can see this button is auto sizing based on the top of the screen here and the left of the screen here so let's go ahead and take off this top and so now you can see it auto sizes based on the left and so let's just mess around with this while we're in it. So let's say we were to click this center. You can see it's going to be aligned off the left side, but then it's also going to expand based on the size of the screen. And then the same thing goes for this one here. It's uh, again aligned to the left, and it's going to be uh, expanding from the top to the bottom based on the screen size. For our case, we want the button to stay in the bottom left hand of the screen based on the margin that we've placed between the button and the edge of the screen. So we're just going to simply click the bottom. And now you can see in the example to the left, it's going to stay in the bottom left hand of the screen. So that's kind of a basics of what's going on with the auto sizing, how to keep your button as you flip it. Now we're just going to run it, see what happens. All right, so we've launched it. Again, looks great on the portrait view. Let's make sure it looks good on the landscape. And there we go. We've got our button, same size, same everything but now it's going to appear for your landscape based on your auto sizing of uh, within the size inspector so hopefully that helps uh, alleviate some of the problems you guys are having where it's you know the buttons are dropping off the page or it's not aligning right when you're testing out with the landscape view but just another thing to keep in mind as you guys develop your objects and place them in your portrait view just make sure they look good on the landscape as well if you've got those enabled so Hopefully that helps. Uh, more tutorials to come on just, again, some of the basics, and then we're going to move into uh, some of the more advanced things as we move forward. All right, peace out, guys.